Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bill. We're going to be in Basic Fantasy uh, for this video. Remember, Basic Fantasy is free. Just go to basicfantasy.org and you can get a PDF of it. I like the third edition one because that's the play style I grew up with in D&D. I played third edition D&D, so this fits closest to that while having its own unique feel. And it's very entertaining. We are in the encounter part of the book and we're going to look at order of play and surprise for this video. Uh, the next video will be monster reactions. So let's start with order of play. When the party of adventurers come in contact with potential enemies, time shifts to combat rounds, 10 seconds long as described previously. Before beginning combat, surprise is checked. See below. Unsurprised characters then roll for initiative and act in order of the roll. Again, as described below. Now, I also do initiative different in all my games. Um, so, if you want, if you're curious about that, I'll go into it right now and just, if you're not, skip ahead about 20 seconds. Um, for my games, I take uh, initiative from one of the players, and that's the group initiative. And then I roll for the monsters, that's their initiative. Then next turn, we get rotate around the table, the next player rolls initiative, and then the monsters roll initiative again. So you get a, a swing of initiative instead of having set initiatives. Now, let's dive back in. Surprise. When surprise is possible, roll 1d6 for each side which might be surprised. Most normal characters are surprised on a roll of 1 to 2. Surprised characters are unable to act for one round. Characters or creatures which are well hidden and prepared to perform an ambush surprise on a roll of a 1 through 4 on a d6. Some characters or creatures, such as elves, are described as being less likely to be surprised. Reduce the range by one for such creatures. For example, Darian, the human fighter, and Morningstar, the elven fighter magic user, uh, open a door and come face to face with a party of goblins. The game master rolls 1d6 for the goblins. On a 1 to 2, they are all surprised. Then the GM rolls 1d6 for Darian and Morningstar. If the roll is a 1, both of them are surprised. If the roll is a 2, only Darian is surprised. If the roll is a 3 or more, neither of them are surprised. Surprised characters or creatures stand flat-footed for one round. They will defend themselves, so there is no penalty to armor class, but they cannot move nor attack during the round of surprise. So, that's initiative and surprise rounds. Uh, back to my initiative thing that I was telling you guys earlier. The swing of initiative, you could still be surprised. You would just, everyone that can act that in that surprise round, only one person rolls initiative and they take that initiative as a group. So that's how I would handle that. Let me know what you all think about initiative and the surprise round in the comments below. Until we all game again, guys.